Sam Raimi's making Doctor Strange too. Sam Raimi made the original Spider-Man. If the question was asked to him, hey man, you get to have one version of the Sp of Spider-Man brought to Doctor Strange too, which one do you want? Of course he would pick Toby, right? Sam Raimi and Toby Maguire Spider-Man go hand in hand. The other reason is why Spider-Man is apparently going to be in Doctor Strange 2. Now, this is the part that's a little bit of, of rumor, although I think confirmations are basically slowly coming out here. The idea is that somewhere along the line of the film, he's gonna fight the Scarlet Witch. Now, here's the funny thing about this, right? I, I know I know a lot of you guys are just like, oh man, man, this, this, this would be so cool, but like he would get crushed. Would he though? Here's the important thing to understand about Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. One, he's the most experienced out of all the Spider-Man. Right, out of Tom Holland and Andrew Garfield, Toby has been Spider-Man the longest, right? He's he's like your granddad Spider-Man. But with Tobey Maguire being more experienced, the most important thing to take away from that is not how he approaches situations. It's not how he approaches conflicts and fights. It's the development of his spider sense. So when it comes to Marvel Comics, the only reason Spider-Man ever does as well as he does is because of his spider sense. Remove the spider sense from Peter Parker, right? Take take the spider sense away from Peter Parker. What is he? He's a really smart kid that can punch hard and climb up walls, and that's it, right? But like, virtually anybody could trash him, right? Like, Venom would be able to destroy Spider-Man. Like, his stories would not be very lengthy at all. His spider sense is what saves him nine times out of 10. 